hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation from here and uh, we are finding the real value of x x is a member of a real number then from here let's rearrange as x plus 7 then multiply by x plus 10 so let's group this together and also group the remaining you know terms together we have x plus 8 now multiply by x plus 9 then we group this together as well same thing in the denominator we group x minus 7 then x minus 10 together so we have x minus 7 multiplied by x minus 10 then we group this also we have x minus 8 multiplied by x minus 9 and then we have equals to 1 from here then in the next step let's expand the bracket the way we have it so when we expand this from here we have x times x that will give us x squared then x times 10 that's 10 x then 7 times x we add that together that will give us plus 17 x then 7 times 10 that will give us plus 70 there so we have the first bracket has been expanded then the second bracket as well this gives us x squared plus also we have 9x plus 8x that gives us 17x as well then plus 8 times 9 that's 72 there so divided by same thing here we expand this so this gives us x squared now also we have minus 10x then minus 7x that's minus 17x then that gives us plus 70 minus 7 times minus 10 then we close this bracket also the same way here we expand this this gives us x square also we have minus 17x here then plus 72 then we close bracket which here is equals to 1 then in the next step we discover we have x square plus 17x plus 70 to be common from what is up here because this is just different between here is just that we had it you know two years so we can use a letter for that so let a be equals to x square plus 17x plus 70 and when you look at the denominator two somehow the same except that here is more than this by two then let, we can say let b be equals to x square minus 17x plus 70 then it means we can rewrite this particular you know fraction in terms of a and b and then this will be a into bracket here is just a plus 2 then divided by we have b into bracket here will just be b plus 2 then equals to 1 then in the next step when we expand this a we multiply and we have a square plus 2a over here we have b square plus 2b then equals to 1 from here then from here we can cross multiply so far this is 1 over 1 here so when we cross multiply from here this gives us a square plus 2a plus equals to rather so equals to b square plus 2b then we can take everything on this side to this side then when we rearrange we have a square minus b square plus 2a 
the minus 2b equals to 0. Then from here, we have difference of two squares. That is, we can put it as a plus b times a minus b. Then plus, you can factor 2 out here. We have 2 into bracket a minus b, which is equal to 0. Then from here, we have a minus b common. Let's take it out. Then we can say this is a minus b out. Then what is left here is a plus b. Then what is left here is plus 2, which is equal to 0. We have two possible cases from here. We have a minus b equals to 0. Or we have a plus b plus 2 equals to 0. Now, from a minus b equals to 0, recall that a is same thing as x squared plus 17x plus 70 and then minus b now and then recall that b is uh, x squared minus 17x plus 70 then which is equals to 0 from here so let's give this you know second case first then we deal with a minus b equals to 0 like this where yeah, this is a and this is b. So when we simplify this now, this gives us x squared plus 17x plus 70. The minus, you open this bracket, we have minus x squared. Then plus 17x then minus 70 equals to 0. Then from here, we have plus x squared minus x squared. This cancel out from here. Also, plus 17, okay, plus 70 minus 70, cancel out. Then we have plus 17x plus 17x. That gives us plus 34x from there. So we have 34x, then equals to 0. Then from here, we divide both sides by 34. And uh, we discover from here that 34 comes to 34, then x here is equal to 0. So we have the value of x on this side to be equal to 0. Then when we work on this side now, we have a plus b plus 2 equals to 0. So for that case, which is a plus b plus 2 equals to 0, here, same thing, we have a as x squared plus 17x plus 70 then plus b which is same thing as x square minus 17x plus 70 then plus 2 this 2 which is equals to 0 then from here we discover that this 17x cancel minus 17x then we have x square plus x square that will give us 2x square then we have 70 plus 70, that's 140 plus 2, that will give us plus 142, sorry, plus 142, rather, which is equals to 0. Then we can factor 2 from here, we have 2 into bracket x square plus 71, which is equals to 0. Then when we divide it through by 2, divide through by 2, we are left it x squared plus 71 which is also equals to 0 then let's check if opposite form of a quadratic equation you can use we can use discriminant which is equals to b squared minus 4ac in this case our b is 0 here so we have 0 squared minus 4a is 1 then c is 71 from here then when we test and we multiply, we discover that here we still have 0 minus 284. So this is simply, discriminant here is simply minus 284, which is of course less than 0. It means we have no resolution on this side. 
no real solution on this side since we focus on the real solution to this problem so therefore we can say that the real solution we have here is x equals to zero now let's check on what we have if s equals to zero to satisfy the given problem so when we substitute x equals to zero from here from what we are given we have the value of x to be equals to zero so when we put zero here of course we still have zero plus seven that will be seven then times we still have eight then times nine times ten then from here also we have here we have minus seven times minus eight times minus nine times minus ten with this be equals to one from here then when we group this like this we multiply we multiply we multiply then we multiply this seven times eight we have fifty six then times we have ninety here then over minus times minus two plus this will still give us fifty six then we have also this will give us plus ninety is this equals to one from here of course when this multiply out from here when we divide this will cancel this will cancel then we are left with one on this side so therefore one is said to be equals to one so the left hand side equals to the right hand side then we can conclude from here that x here will be equals to zero so this is the real solution to this problem Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more exciting videos and uh, share this video. Put your comment and see you next class. And bye for now.